Hey guys, welcome back to Hanging with the Kiddos Creative Creations. I'm Latoya, and in today's video, we're going to be creating a template for the Starburst 2.7 ounce candy pack. Please watch the video to the end. We're going to create the template, we're going to print the template, and we're going to assemble the wrappers. If you all find this video helpful, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and make sure you hit that notification. All right, guys, so the first thing we want to do is head on over to canva.com and we want to go over to custom size. Make sure it's in inches. And we want our page size to be 11 by 8.5 inches. And select create a new design. Once our blank canvas pulls up, we want to head on over to element. Select our shape. And we want our first shape to be 4 inches in height. And 7 inches across. We want to select our shape again, make it a different color. And we want this shape to be one inch in height. And seven inches across. And we want to position this to the middle. And there you have it. We have created our template for the Starburst wrapper. And we can fit about two labels on a full size sheet of paper. So the easiest thing to do is create your first design and if you want it to be the same to just duplicate it to add it to your sheet of paper. Next, you can head on over to Google to do a Google search if you want to include the Starburst logo in your design. You want to look for a PNG transparent image. And the way you can tell it's a transparent image, mean that it won't have this white background when you download it. You, you will have to click through the images and try to find one. Like this one, for instance, is not transparent. It has a white background. You will have to remove that white background. So let's click the next one. This image is transparent. You can tell that it's transparent when it has this checkerboard, this gray and white type of background, because it doesn't look like that until you click it. That's how you can tell it's a transparent background. And this is the image you would want to um, save and download to your computer. All right, next, you can head on over to the Upload tab and upload your Starburst logo and any clip arts and images and backgrounds you may want to use in your design. All right, I have gone ahead and uploaded all of the clip arts and images I think I may want to use in my design. If my screen looks a bit different, it's because I have Canva Pro and I'm able to save my clip arts in different folders to help me keep them organized. But if you don't have Canva Pro, you can still upload everything that you want to use. You can find it under the Uploads tab. Now, for those of you who are interested in just a pre-made version of this template that we just created, I have created one. And at this point in the video, this is the template that I'm using, but you can easily create this yourself. But if you would like just the pre-made template, you can find the link for it in the description box down below. So I have my clip arts, I uploaded my logo, and now I'm about to create my design. Stay tuned.
I'm going to be printing my labels out on glossy photo paper and when I use the glossy photo paper I have to make sure I go into my printer settings and set it according to the type of paper that I'm using. So under paper type I have to select photo paper and the print quality has to be set to best. This will prevent the ink from coming off, especially with the dark colors. All right, guys, I think these came out so good. They're so cute. I'll leave a link to the bag seller that I use for the ends in the description box down below. I got this off of Amazon. I'll also link the clip arts that I use if you all are interested in the clip arts. And if you all are interested in the pre-made Starburst template, I'll also leave a link for that. You can find all of that information in the description box down below and also all of the material that I use, like the paper and the double-sided tape that I use. You can find the links for those in the description box down below. Hey, I hope you all found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Thank you all so much for watching and see you next time. Bye.